you are welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a short with an elastic waist, waistline with a turn up at the down and then a patch pocket. So we are making a short, a short pant with elastic waistline and then with a turn up at the down. It's going to have a pouch pocket. So these are the measurements I'm working with. The length of the shirt is 16 inches. And then because I'm going to be using an elastic on the waist, I'm not going to be making use of the waist measurements. I'll be using the hip instead. So I'm making use of the hip. I'll divide the hip by two. Sorry, I'll divide the hip by four, and then I'll have the that will give me the crash depth. So the crash that I'm working with is eight point five, and then the tie I'm working with a tie of twenty two inches. So the down part of the pants, I'm going to make it. 18 inches 16 or 18 inches so to know the amount of fabric to put on food you use your tie measurement your tie plus at least two inches so i'm going to start my measurement from the down i'll put a line here this is half inch that's what i'm going to be using for the top because it's a turn up, I'm not going to be adding folding allowance. I'm going to be cutting that separately. So I'm going to be using a length of 17 inches. Length 17 inches. can use seven so it depends on how short you want it so you determine the length 17 or 16 inches so depending on your length so the short is going to have an elastic waistband I'm going to be creating the elastic uh, casing with the same fabric i'm not going to cut an extra band instead i'll just extend this line by two inches so the band will be one and a half inches wide so the other half is to fold it in we are sewing so i'm going to add two inches this is to create the elastic case So, this will be my starting line. So, here's the waistline. So, from here, I'll determine the hip. So, the hip, the waist to hip is 6 inches. So, I'm going to make that 6.5. So this is the hip line. So the next line is 
the crush line. So the crush line, to get the crush line is, you can go two inches below this hip line because I'm making it for the little girl. Okay, so two inches below this this um, hip line will be the crotch line. Or you use the you use the hip divided by four. The hip I'm working with is 34, 34 divided by four. That will give us 8.5. So you mark 8.5. So this is the crash line. Let me position this way. So I have so this is for the casing. This is for the elastic casing. This is the waistline. This is the hip, this is the crouch. So on this hip line, I'll mark the hip circumference, which is 8.5. I'll mark that across. I'll mark it on the crouch line, also on the waistline. Don't forget, we are using an elastic casing. So I'll just maintain this. I'm not going to trim anything off here. On this crash line, I'll put in the tie measurement divided by two. The tie I'm working with is 20, 21, which is 10.5. And then I've gone ahead to make it, I've added one inch for ease, so making it 22, which is 11. So I'll go ahead and mark 11. Because you need to get so from here, you can actually mark two and a half. Okay. So I'll just mark out the curve. You can use your free hand or you use your curve ruler. You can use your free hand from this corner here. Place your tip like this. Mark it like this. Like this. So this is the the crutch. This is the crutch. So here is the elastic casing. Then when we fold it to the end here, so our measurement starts from here. From here, we mark the hip and then the crouch. So from there, this is the full length of the shot, which is 16. Now I'm going to give it a little shape at the side. So I'll just come in by one inch. Then I'll slant it towards, towards the crouch. Just 
just to give it a little sh uh, shape so this is optional and then from here I'll take the knee measurement the knee divided by 2 the knee I'm working with is 16 divided by 2 that is 8 inches so from here I'll mark 8 inches Eight inches. Okay. Then I can add half inch to that. Just for ease. And I connect this to the scratch point. So there may be no need for that. So just I just connect the eight inches to this. It's good to have a slight curve. So if you like, you can add the half inch and just blend it into here. Like this. So so that is all for the front pattern and then we cut side so just blend it out To use this to cut the back piece. So to cut out the back piece, I'll just fold my fabric into two like this. Then I'll place the front. This is side. I'm not adding any allowance on the damp pack, so I'll just make sure that it aligns. Like this. So my allowance is going to be on the side, two inches allowance. So I'm going to mark my two inches from here. The same allowance, so from here, I just mark two inches. So, the I'll place this on making sure that it matches with this line. So 
So this is the simplest way to cut it. I'll just follow the shape that I have here. I'll maintain the same. So these are two inches. So this, because I'm using an elastic, I'm only going to add one inch to the back pattern on this middle line. So I'll raise that by, I'll increase that by one inch. And then I'll slant it to the side. Then this front pattern, I'll reduce here by half inch. I'll slant it to the side, to the side. So I'll cut that after cutting the back. So that is all for the back pattern. And just follow the shape. And just follow what I have here. This is the sewing allowance here. So to slant here a little, you just move the pattern back. So you see, we have our seam allowance. We have our seam allowance. We have our seam allowance here and here. So this front part, just slant it a little. So our front and back pattern is complete. So to cut the one for the tone up, you place both of them together like this, as if you have already joined it. And measure what you have. I have 19. So I'll make it 20. I can also trim it up. And then the turn up will be the height will be one and a half. So I'll fold that will be three inches. And I need seam allowance. So I'm going to be cutting four inches, four inches by 20, and I'll cut two. So this is for the tunnel. I'll cut two of this. 
This is for the wash bucket. The width is eight and a half by eight. I'm going to cut two of this. This one is complete. This is for the tuna. So make sure that the wrong side are facing each other so that they can mirror each other. And then the depth five inches. So we need to make a curve. We can use the first curve. So you can use um, cutting bias to finish up this this line, this comb, or use from the fabric. So we are done with all our patterns. We need to proceed to sew. So to sew. One side of the front, you join it one side of the back. You join it together. Join so here. You do same for the other one. I'll join the short one piece of the front, one piece of the back. So with this um, iron. So 
so we get the midpoint. We get the midpoint on the shot. This is how it is going to be at the end. So to add it, you add it from the back. So you add it like this. So when we finish, it will come to the front. Just match the middle. So I'm going to just use this as a guide to sew. And then for the pocket, we first of all fold the top. We are going to be putting a one inch band. So this is how wide the front will be. This is a one and quarter. So I'll fold with one and a half. Making sure to get my length. This is seventeen and three quarter. So this is the elastic casing. This I just fold this. This is the elastic I'm going to be using. To know the length of elastic to use, you surprise six inches from your waist measurement. So we sew the tunnel from the inside and turn it out. So let me show you how to fix the pocket. The pocket is going to be around the where the band ends. It's going to be like this. We're going to be on the front pattern. So this is how the pocket is going to stay. So I've reduced the length of the pocket, the width of the pocket. I reduce it to seven inches. Half inch here is to connect it inside, to join the side, okay? And then we'll fold it down. Just use iron to fold it down half inch. We fold the up you fold it twice one two half half inch then you fold the side half inch like so so 
So to know where to place it. We go two inches from two and a half inches from this side. Two and a half inches. And then from the top, this is 1.6. Then the space here will be 2 inches. It will be 2. This is 2 and 2.4. Uh, the space here. Mark the space here. So you can use two inches. This is very little gear. If it's an adult useful in use it. depends on how you want to put your pockets. So I'm using two inches from here. I'm just trying to make sure that they are the same. This is 1.6. 1.6 is here. So that is where we position the pockets. You don't use pin to secure it. If you already joined the side, just check where you have where this is supposed to enter and open it up. So I'm going to open here. And then you put the slip the pocket in. So you are going to stitch here back. And close this opening. So let's quickly do that. We stitch the pocket in place, then we sew here down, and then the, the turn up. So this is what we have so far. We have sewn the pocket, and we have turn. We have sewn the turn up. The next thing you iron it. So this is the pocket. This is the second pocket. Here's the pocket. So the next thing, this is the, the turn up. 
you iron it iron it up like this we are going to tack here later this place we just use needle and thread to tack it to hold it in place Here's the second one. So before we sew this band, we are going to join the crouch area so that the space can be continuous for us to put to insert the elastic. Don't forget to also tack here, just tack it to keep it in place. So the next thing, we place them on each other. Right side facing each other. So you make sure that the crouch, the back crouch and the front crouch So make sure this done the align. So we are going to join the crotch area. You open it up. Open this place up. Match them together like this. Match the crush together. Use a pin to secure it. So trim off any excess. Is there a little excess here? So I'll trim it off. So we'll be sewing from here half inch all the way here. I'll also sew join the crotch area here as well. Just make sure they are matching. So I'm going to sew here.
So after that, we can now sew the band because we now have a continuous space. So I'm going to trim this to make it equal. So after sewing the crotch, we open it up like this, and then we now sew the band. So I'll leave a space at the side where I'm going to insert the elastic. After that, we are going to sew to join this. Tie a ring. I'm going to join here together. So here to this side. And then that will be all. Then we insert our elastic. So I'm finished sewing. I'll show you what it looks like before inserting the elastic. And that will be all. So this is what we have so far. We have, we have joined the crouch area. We have joined here. So this is the elastic. I'll just show you how to close the elastic. You put both elastic together. You can put both of them together like this and just stitch or you do it like this. You stitch like this, then you place it like this and stitch again. After that, you close up this opening, and our shot is ready. Let me show you the front part. So, this is the front part. So we tack here, we tack here and here. And then we are done. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this video, share this video. So this is a short pants with pouch pockets. Here's the pocket, crash pocket and elastic wrist. So I've come to the end of this video. Until next time I come your way again, I remain GJ. Bye for now.